our great nation Nigeria will be independent in two weeks. And we will say for a fact, yes, Nigerian films are really, really growing. You know, um, for years we've been saying the highest selling Nigerian film is EJ. And this film was released four years ago. It's about time we pick new products and say the highest selling Nigerian film. And um, 2014 is marking the beginning of a total turnaround in the commercial viability of Nigerian films. And I'm, and I'm proud to say October 1 is one of those films that will absolutely blow all records. Wow, I feel great, feel good to be part of this wonderful project. I have no doubt that this project is obviously going to be the first movie that is going to be recognized by an international body. I, I, I believe so. There's someone who really contributed immensely to this project from the beginning, uh, both in the area of um, uh, costumes, in the area of um, advice and all of that. And she also played a very significant role in the film. That's my job. It's my passion. I do very well with period pieces because I love to research and um, that just, that is my natural thing. So I just went ahead and I delved into it and did it. It was challenging to come up with um, all the uniforms in that manner, especially because I didn't have too much time, but thank God that I did it. So to talk of this film, I want to praise Kule Afolanya. Since the beginning, I was in this industry, is the highest scorer, pay artists very well for feeding and living in uh, with accommodation when we are in uh, location, we are okay. So I praise him, he's a very great man. And he, he, wanted some, he wanted a small project he wanted to do before he did a big project. And I, he said I should come up with an idea. And I came up with this idea of uh, killing a series of killings taking place set against the backdrop of independence in Nigeria. And he liked the story and um, originally it wasn't even called October 1, it was called Dust because it's supposed to be set in a very dusty town. Hello, my name is Tuli Babalala and I'm the writer, the script writer of October 1. Well, I think most writers would be happy there if 50% of their work is interpreted correctly on screen. In this instance, in October 1, I saw 99% of my work interpreted, interpreted correctly on screen, which means the production and the director in particular has done a fabulous job. Here is a story that is a Nigerian story. Here is a story that it is not the fault of the ego man or the house man or the Yoruba man, like it is always paddled all over the place. No. What about the people who were there, the colonialists, the, the white people? What did they do to Prince? What happened? That we do not see. Beautiful, I feel excited. It's a very uh, good story for not just uh, the movie industry in Nigeria, but it's good for the nation. Good because we want our people to begin to understand that they were interests the British try to protect. And that's why we say to ourselves today, you're a house, I can't do business with you, you're Igbo, I can't do business with you. It's supposed to generate a lot of conversation, which you saw that it did in there. It's also supposed to bring all the tribes in this country together. If we see the, uh, the film the way it was supposed to, there are just so many angles into the movie. First of all, a lot of laughter, a lot of laughter. It's not a comedy film, but it's, it's just got so much laughter in it. My name is Dimola Adedo, I'm from Nigeria. <laughs> Uh, I went to film school in the UK and I did a few acting workshops. I've always been looking to do, get into film. Um, originally, I just... Kunle... Kunle is tough. <laughs> Kunle is tough. It was, it, was, um, it was challenging, you know. I, I felt alive, you know. I actually felt like I was part of something that was, you know, bigger, bigger than myself. I got that feeling working with Kunle because he, he brings everyone along. And it makes you feel like part of a big process and it makes you feel important as part of it so yeah I got a lot from working with him I also learned a lot on, on how to manage other people on set and all that
Detective Inspector Danny Waziri. Isn't that native police officer? Leave for a coty first thing in the morning. I require this case wrapped up for the 1st of October, Independence Day. Yes, sir. I'm trying to entertain people and I'm trying to show them what Nigeria used to be like in 1960 and I'm trying to say to them it is one Nigeria. I want people to see it and enjoy it and um, I want it to get reviews whether good or bad but I want people to talk about it. That, that's one of the reasons why I'm making this kind of film. Oh yeah? Don't you touch me! Everybody, everybody girl. Who are you, people? I got a dad. You should talk by yourself. Arrest him. There's no policeman. This is a good day. Can arrest my papa. You are hereby suspended. Mrs. Ransom Cootie. Oh, JB. I cannot sweep it under the rug. You listen to me. You'll do as you're bloody well told. Yeah, but impudence of the man. He'd be flogged in Kenya. Case closed. I think I know the killer.